Good afternoon, I'm Justin O'Brien with Vine Financial. Now, Vine is a commercial lending platform that's utilized by banks and credit unions to help decision and underwrite loans. Now, over 75% of financial institutions in the United States today are still doing commercial lending in a very manual process. They're hand keying in financials, they're using Excel to analyze these financials, and then once they've decided they want to move forward with the loan, then they're moving to Microsoft Word to create a credit presentation all taken hours and days. Typically, a bank or a credit union is spending about three hours per entity mainly keying these financials from tax returns. And you gotta remember, each commercial loan usually has one or two co-borrowers and then several guarantors. And they'll spend two to three days analyzing these financials, typically just to get to a no. What I'm gonna show you today is our document import, our scanning, and how we analyze the financials and also how we can save time by import or creating a credit memo instantly. Now I'm gonna act like a banker today and log in. Our platform is a very configurable platform because each bank and credit union lends differently, have different requirements. We've spoken to institutions and have customers that are everything from commercial real estate, credit term loans, yacht loans, church loans, aircraft loans, and so on. Now what I'm gonna do first is upload the financials. So I'm gonna go to the borrower organization, which is O'Brien Construction. I'm gonna pull up the documents and drag them over and upload them all at once. Now what you'll notice is I didn't have to tell our platform that this is a tax return from the year 2020 or 2022. Our platform is going to open up that document, detect what it is, and then start importing those financials automatically. These documents do not have to be perfectly prepared from an accountant. They can be combined. They could be multiple documents all at once. Um, typical tax returns are anywhere from five. I've seen them up to 200 pages. And our platform is going to start importing and reading those financials right then and there. Now, I'm going to go over to my loan that I have in here, my commercial real estate test loan. You'll notice I've got all these fields on here, what stage, who's a loan officer, what's the amount, and so on. And all these fields, once again, are configurable by loan type for each institution. I'm gonna come straight to the applicants and go to O'Brien Construction. You notice I've got the business name, tax ID, and entity type. So not only are we importing the financials, we're also importing and gathering information from those documents and trying to fill out as much of the application information as possible. When I come to the spreading piece, which is the financial analysis that the banks and credit unions are doing for the commercial, or for the loan, you'll notice it looks very much like Excel. Uh, and we've done this on purpose because this is what bankers and underwriters and credit analysts are used to seeing today. Now the first thing I'm gonna go, I'm actually go from right to left. I'm gonna go to the income statement. I'm gonna go to year 2020 and expand it to show that we have our imported field right here to show you exactly what's been imported. We have a, an adjusted field because a lot of time institutions will adjust the financials. Maybe you know they said I made a huge sale at the end of the year. And so they can go ahead and lower that down to 600 and say $25,000 and so on. On any of these fields that are imported, say compensation of officers, I can right click, I can click view an original document, and we're gonna pull up exactly where we grabbed that field from. Helps if I actually hit it. Once that's um, coming up, or not, <laughs> um, once that information's coming up, I can also right click and see, you know, most pro or let me go to total, uh, total operating expense and see how do we generate that value? How did we come up with that? And I'm able to highlight all these, see exactly where these uh, information, uh, the formula, how it's all being calculated and so on. I can go to the balance sheet. We're actually grabbing this also from the tax return. And you'll notice that I've got the total assets and total liabilities and owner equity on here in green. The reason for that is we're showing that it's actually balancing, that we're grabbing all the information from the tax return, that's balancing is all reading in correctly. And once again, all this information on here is configurable by the institution. I'm also going to go to cash flow, which we do a cash flow analysis, once grabbing information from the income statement and from the balance sheet and gener generate these values. And then finally, we have a ratios tab, which is very important for the, of course, the banks and credit unions to know to make sure that they've got the right liquidity, leverage ratios and profitability. And we even have in here the industry average. We're looking at the NICS code for the industry that they're in, grabbing the averages for the region, and can do a comparative analysis to let the bank or credit union know that this is a, you know, they're making enough revenue, their debt's not too high, and so on, compared to other companies in there. Once the financial analysis has been done, uh, the credit analysts and underwriters have the ability to come in here and write a narrative. 
Now they're doing this a lot today. They're you know opening up the uh, the credit presentation and copying and pasting the Excel information over and then writing a narrative as to why they adjusted what they did and so on. We allow them to do this inside the software so they can key this information in here so that when they go to create the credit memo, which I'll do in a second, they'll have the ability to just carry that over right then and there. Let me go back to the deal itself. I'm gonna scroll down, go to the credit memo. I can click this button. It says, would you like to generate the credit memo? Yes, I would. And what we're doing is we're actually opening up a Word document, copy and pasting the information over there. I went ahead and pre-filled out the proposals, collateral information, and so on. But we gather all that over, bring it into a Word document, which I can then open up right here, and have it ready for them instantly. So once again, something that would have taken them two or three days to email this around internally, key out this information, fill out the bar character, the purpose of this loan, and so on, they can do all together at once inside our platform and then generate the credit memo. If they decided, okay, nope, there needs to be a change made, you know, this information was incorrect or I forgot to fill this piece out and so on, they're able to come back into our software, make those updates and generate the new credit presentation. We are a full end-to-end -end platform. We do everything from lead tracking to underwriting, decisioning, and also loan management. Uh, we do have a booth downstairs. We'd love to speak with anyone that wants to stop by and learn more. And we are actively fundraising. Um, so if anyone's interested in investing, please stop by and hopefully vote for us for Best of Show. Thank you.